Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Courtney. Now, I'm here to tell you about some books that I've been reading, but just not any books. I've been reading books by Nikki Carter. And if you don't know Nikki Carter, then you better ask somebody. She is a black female that writes black romance but not just any romance it's sci-fi it's fantasy it's contemporary she just has a really good versatile writing style She's one of those authors that when you read her books, if you take out the romance, you're still going to have a really good plot. So I can really appreciate that. Now, she writes adult books. So there's this sexiness component to them, but it's not overdrawn. Basically, it's kind of dipping, get to the juicy parts and then get out and go back to the good plot. And I appreciate that. And her stories feature black females with these alpha male characters. So really, really good. Really right up my alley. Now, I read three of her books that were part of the Third Street Conjure Boy series. And it's a black romance fantasy about these three men that are reincarnated embodiments of these ancient deities. And they are looking for their risers. A riser is basically their female counterpart, a reincarnated goddess that can help them ascend to their greatest power level they can in their mortal form. But along the way, they're finding that someone is kidnapping these women to try to take the power for themselves out of greed. And so they're trying to figure that out. But I thought that it was an amazing series of gods walking among us. And I really liked how strong the females were. Now, what I did not like about this book, though, was that the men are basically these street magicians. You know, those um, people that perform on the corner with their shirts off. I mean, they were hot, don't get me wrong. But I thought that that part of the book was a bit annoying. However, what they're doing with these performances, I thought, were as absolutely awesome so that kind of made up for the fact that you had kind of this cheesy storyline that they were in they were really good books you had a lot of twists and action a lot of hot steamy scenes they were funny and the characters and the storylines are interconnected, but they can be read as a standalone. However, I suggest if you're going to embark on reading this three book series, just start from the beginning and read them all. I think that is better read that way. And they're not that long. Now, the first book is Jinx and Glitter. And basically, you have Glitter who has her repressed female deity. And Jinx is trying to bring that out of her. Now, this one was really, really good. However, Jinx, I thought, was immature. And I would have kicked him in the nuts if he would have done to me what he did to her. Now, book two is about Lure and Sparkle, and Lure is the creator of the universe, and he likes to be really dominant. Um, I really enjoyed how the book started and what he told her. I was just gearing up for something just really, like, juicy, and I did feel like it was more sentimental and a bit of a letdown in that respect, but it still had a lot of action, and I enjoyed it. You learn a lot about good and evil on how the world needs both of those in order to be what it is. Now, book three is Abra and Blossom's story. I didn't like the whole idea of a girl chasing a man, but I understood it. This one had a time travel component to it, and I thought that was really interesting and unique for the story. I felt really, really sad once some things were revealed about him. And I thought that it was cool that he had a grill. I mean, who has a god with a grill? It reminded me of Nelly, and I think that's really, really hot on Nelly. Overall, really good book series. I enjoyed them immensely. And the next book that I read by Nikki Carter, it was part of the Black Girls Off World series. It's a series of like sci-fi alien type 
books. It's a two book series. I read the first book, My Alien Threshers, and then decided not to continue with the second one. It basically is about, basically about a female named Fola who is abducted from Earth by aliens. And you have these two other aliens that are twins called Threshers um, that are hired to go and find her and to return her to this big collective so that can save the impending connection that aliens want to make with earthlings. I think that the two guys are funny. They reminded me kind of like Avatar. I thought that the book was fast paced and then I other times I thought that it drug on but it had a really good plot line. I just got annoyed with all the sex and the rough sex in the books. It was a menage area and uh, I just felt that it was it could not be enjoyable for the female i just felt like it was so rough to the point to where i really hurt for her even though she was supposedly enjoying it and the whole having sex after the bloody battle where you're both disgusting covered in dirt it just that just did not appeal to me so i just felt i didn't want to continue in this kind of cheesy series but the plot line and the writing was really really good and the last and fifth book that i read by nick Nikki Carter is called For My Wolves and this is the book two in the Black Valley Wolves series. I don't know how many books there are. There's a few of them but it's a wolf shifter romance. I think that the cover looks like Carrie Washington. Take a look. It's like her right? This is a really good story. Very well written. It is about a female named Maya that is like part wolf and she is dating this wolf guy that pretty much can't commit because he hasn't had the mating dream to tell her that she is the one. So she leaves him and then somehow <laughs> her and him and somebody else gets into some situation. She is pretty much trying to find her other full wolf self and is looking to use science to maybe pull that out of herself. So that component was really, really interesting testing felt that it was well written. I think that whole lead up about relationships was explained really, really well. And that is the books that I have read. Now I am actually going into my birthday week, my birthday week, and I'm really excited about that. So we'll see what other books I get into and what is going on for my birthday. And I will see you later. <laughs>
very short. Now this story is about a woman named Amanda who is on her deathbed with some sort of fever and she is being prompted by this child named David in order to recount the story of what happened to her. And it's being told from several different perspectives and they all intertwine as well as the timeline in one just long format. So it does take some getting used to. I was probably about five, six pages in before I kind of realized what was going on because I couldn't figure out who was talking at one time frame that it was but it makes sense you really just need to pay attention to whether or not it's italics whether it's times new roman or whether it's something in quotation marks but a really good book i really enjoyed it it was scary it was a bit suspenseful very thriller like and it really pulls at your heartstring when you are concerned about children and the dangers that they can get themselves into and the other book that i started and this is my birthday read it is bad fat black girl and it starts with a bang this is not for the faint of heart i'm about 10 pages in so you'll be hearing about this next week i'm gonna take my time with this one so this is closing out my birthday i'll have some other birthday stuff coming up but this vlog has to go so i want to say thank you thank you thank you for listening and i am once again immensely thankful for all of those that celebrated my birthday with me so i'm going to take my little e-reader flipper thingy here and i'm gonna put this to some good use i am just excited about this ringer oh awesome <laughs> okay bye y'all have a good day okay <laughs>